What's going on, everybody? Happy Friday. Tomorrow, I'm ready for the show. I'm actually doing this Thursday night, so I'm pretty much set now. So if you're up in the Louisville area, make sure you stop by, see me. It's off of uh, Fagan Bush Lane. There's a Moose Lodge. I'll be there till probably 1 p.m. Eastern. I will have the microscope up there if you want to check it out firsthand. I'll pull it out. We can play around with it. Should be charged up completely by then. But I'll have some wax up there and stuff like that. So make sure you guys check me out if you're in the Louisville area. All right. I know a lot of people are probably like, what? What are you talking about? The history of the Juan Soto first Bowman 101. What do you mean history? A lot of people know the story uh, from probably three years ago, maybe it was, offhand, probably about three. And I know a lot of people don't offhand, so everybody knows, you know, there's always a one-on-one -on -one super fractor, and most products tops do. So, there, of course, you have the Juan Soto one-on-one -on -one out there. And th this is kind of just one of those things that goes on to altering cards and all this other stuff. and. So basically, everybody knows it was pulled, because obviously if I'm doing a video on it, it was pulled a while back. So let's take a look at the card. Boom! There you guys go. Nice looking card, huh? So, graded by Beckett, 9-9. Nine, nine, and we had 9, 9-5, nine, five, 8 five corners, 9-5 surface, right? You would probably think that if you sent this to PSA, it's probably going to come back a 9. Because why did the auto get a 9? Look at the uh, J and Juan. It goes off the card there, all right? So somebody, you know, bought it. Or <laughs> bought it. Somebody opened it, broke it, graded it, and then they sold it. Now, I don't remember the guy's last name. I just know his first name that was part of this whole thing. Um, basically, he goes out and buys this Juan Soto, you know, 101 Super Fractor graded. And... He does some stuff to the card, sends it to PSA. You guys ready for this? Boom! There she is! <laughs> 101! PSA 10? Now you're probably thinking to yourselves, well, how do you get a 10? Well, let's just talk about looking at the auto first. Notice that line has been erased partly from his autograph. Yes, somebody cleaned it up very well, uh, including, from what I understand, that the edges were fixed in corners onto it somehow, some way. So anyhow, this card was out in circulation, and the only reason I'm even bringing this up, they talked about it last night on a Zoom that I was in, and um, I mean, I had these pictures already from a long time ago, but... You know, I didn't really know the whole history of what happened afterwards. I knew it graded a 10. Somebody purchased it at a card show, and a bunch of people told him that this was originally a 9-9. Nine, nine. Now, from here's where the story gets interesting with it all, because I don't know the whole end of the story. I heard that he tried to take the card back, get his money back, and all this stuff. Well, anyhow, these pictures start surfacing all over social media, all over the place. And from my understanding, PSA said, you know what, I'm buying this card back. And they took it out of circulation. So there is no Super Fractor Auto of Juan Soto for his first Bowman out there. So really, your best one you can get now is the Red Refractor out of it. Did PSA do the right thing? They did. How did they not catch it? Well, you aren't really going to know from the auto if you have somebody that's really good at cleaning cards into telling that they erased part of the auto. Same time frame, you had those people a while back, big old scandal, still under investigation, that were, they were using like microscope type deal and trimming these cards down. I mean, I don't know what they use, some kind of like mini samurai exacto knife blade type deal but you know this is just one of the things that were out there and i've heard people talking about the sotos and stuff like that now so yes there was a 101 at one time out there but from my understanding what i heard psa bought it took it out of circulation no more around 
So it just goes to show you, no matter what you buy out there anymore, it's probably, you know, a good chance it might have been regraded, could have been altered. How do you know? You don't, unless it's serial number and you can find the original picture. Kind of weird how things happen like this, you know, offhand. I mean, I I'm curious, though, seriously, in the comments, how many people knew about this, you know, prior to this video right now? I could probably think of a couple that I know on the channel that already knew about it because... You know, you probably were part of those Facebook groups that, you know, plastered everywhere, blowout forums and all that stuff offhand. But this is the kind of stuff you got to really deal with when you're buying cards. And this is one of the big reasons why I do grade myself. Because I know I didn't alter the card. And people can sit there and say, hey, you know, I got this from, you know, freaking Jason off of Extreme Card Breaks. And, you know... The history starts with me from having it graded on to it. So, and I do that with a lot of people that I know great. I only usually will buy for people I know. I'm really skeptical nowadays, guys. I'll be honest with you. When I go out, and especially, like, plan is to go to the Dallas Cards show, either, like, if it's July or September. Probably leading, like, first show of fall going down to it. Because there's so many cards that are still out there now that were altered in a way that you don't know what you're getting anymore it's really really sad um a lot of times i'll get off of people i know the grade and i know they're not doing illegal activities just because i have more tr trust and faith into them because their reputation's on the line and a lot of these guys that were doing this stuff had a good reputation yes um but you know everybody could turn bad with the greed of money nowadays just imagine though Think about this. If you had these cards and you originally buy as a 9-9, you did whatever you did to it, now it's a 10. Just imagine the amount of money difference that is. Huge. And the person that did this, how did you not think that it wasn't going to show up that you altered the card? It's the one one I could see if you would have pulled it and you did it yourself and then you showed you pulled it a type deal. Then there's no other, you know, backstory behind it. But, man... Crazy to some of the stuff that's went on out there. But I wanted to share a little backstory with you guys and show you this. Um, I know a lot of people are new to the hobby or just coming back into it. So you guys don't really uh, get to see or hear these stories unless, you know, people bring them up from the past out offhand. And it's just one of those things, like I said, it was brought up in a Zoom that I was in uh, last night. And I was like, man, I still got them pictures on my computer of this. And I dug through and I found them. And I was like, you know, I'm going to do a video on this just to show everybody that, you know, the history of the Juan Soto 101. It was pulled. It was graded by Beckett. Got some bad grades. Somebody popped it. They did their alternate cleaning. It came back PSA 10. It was at a big card show that uh, somebody purchased it. And then uh, I guess a couple of his friends told him what, what was going on. And from my understanding, I believe the guy tried to get his money back or did get his money back. And somehow... PSA confiscated, bought it back, and took it out of circulation. Kind of crazy with this stuff out there anymore. So as always, always be careful what you guys get and stuff out there. You never know. I mean, chances of, you know, a lot of people even buying this card, it's slim because you know it's going to go for some stupid money. But if you're out there, you know, trying to start to invest into other cards and that, always be careful. Always try to look at the card under different types of light, different angles. If you see rub marks or something onto, it's probably a key thing. But this guy was good from what I understand of what he did. But you could tell, though, where it was erased at. I mean, it, it, it's there. But all right, everybody, appreciate it. Don't forget, tomorrow night I will be live with uh, Inception Baseball Boxes. I have four or five of them over there. We're going to do 115 a box. That's about... $40, $45 cheaper than I would blow out, and David Adams has them now. I do have one reserve for one person that asked me during a live stream, so I'll keep one off to the side. Um, so 9 p.m. Eastern, Saturday, I'll come live after the show. I'll probably start off if I did any kind of pickups or anything like that real quick to show everybody. And then you can either have the boxes ripped or shipped, whatever you want. I know top loaders are a little bit crazy trying to find. Some of these are 130, 180 pointers. I got them. So if you guys want them ripped, I'll rip it live. Uh, top load the cards up, ship them out to you. If you want the whole box shipped to you, I can do either. It doesn't matter offhand. 
And just one other word, just so everybody's tracking, I switched my payment processor on my website. So it's now going to be going, you still can do PayPal through PayPal, okay? You can still check out using PayPal. But uh, for any kind of credit card purchases, it's all going through Stripe now, Stripe. The other way was uh, telling me that sports cards is gambling, and, well, we had it out, and I moved on to a new payment processor then. I was like, that's insane. <laughs> I mean, I can understand if we were doing some type of gambling really with it and stuff, but I don't even really break anymore, except for personal, so. But, yeah, just to let you guys know, so if there's any hiccups, anybody use a credit card, let me know. I did a test run on it. It worked for me. So, just a heads up onto that. All right, everybody. I got, like I said, I'll be alive after the show. Hopefully, I can find some good stuff. I'll try to get a video, too, out there of some of the stuff that's out there and put that little, um video montage or whatever they're calling it all together for everybody to take a look at and if you guys are looking for anything in specific don't hesitate to send me an email because if i see it and i mean if it's like something that's reasonable and priced out me having you send me money for it right there in the spot i'll just pick it up and then you can just hit me up later with it and stuff but all right everybody take care have a good one i'm out